Welcome to Pam's Unprintable series and this week my students have been asking me, Pam, Pam, can you teach me how to create printable pages, uh, planner pages, journal pages from scratch using Canva. So for the next couple of weeks I'm going to be taking two or three pages out of my journals and planners that I sell on Amazon as well as printables and I'm going to show you how to build them from scratch. So without further ado, let's get into this week's tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to be using pages from my planner printable template. If you want to check out the template instead of making it yourself and rather just start using the template, yes, you can use them for commercial use, then go to pambrosman.com forward slash templates. But this is the design and I'm going to do three pages out of this design. As you can see, there's lots and lots of pages. And make sure to go and watch the tutorial that teaches you how to set up your layouts if you're going to be doing it printables or whether you're downsizing these and using them as print on demand on Amazon, which is what my students do. They do both. But this one is teaching how to do it for printables. So this is an A4 size. So the pages that we're going to be doing this week is these three pages because they're pages that you're going to replicate and use over and over again. So having this knowledge is super easy. The first one is just going to show you how simple it is to make a nice border. The second one, how simple it is to make a to-do list. And the third one, to have a notes page with whatever you want to have at the bottom. Some people like, what are you grateful for? What are your priorities for uh, the day? Depending on what type of printable that you are creating. So let's get started with the first one. Now I like to put borders because it looks really, really smart and it it also gives a visible place for people to be able to see to stay within the lines and also to be able to have a place to punch holes if they're going to bind it, put it in a ring binder, spiral bind it, or for those people who like to use a clipboard, they'll put it at the top. So this one is obviously super, super simple, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. Now, first of all, turn on your guides so that you can see. So go to File, View Settings, and Show Rulers and Guides and then go file view settings and then add your show margins and you'll see why I use show margins in a minute. It makes it super easy for you to stay in the middle and to stay within the margins without having to set up any little guides. If you want to go out further for your printables you can and you can use guides to set your margins like this if you want to do that you can but I'll be honest with you keeping a lot of white space is a better idea and you never know how people are going to use it so if they're using a thick ring binder those ring holes are going to come in quite far and if you have not catered for that and it chops off the writing then you're going to get bad reviews all right so what I tend to do is keep a nice big white margin and I never go wrong so what we're going to do is we're going to create a blank I'm just going to show you how simple it is to create a border. So I work within these dotted lines that Canva gives me. And if you want to figure out what the center is, you can go right smack into the middle. And when it turns pink, you're in the center. And then you can lock that guide. All right. So I'm going to, and then if I want to go center in the middle, I'll go and do the same like that. Okay. And then I can go file. Uh, view settings and lock guides so then they won't move no matter if I happen to by accidentally go over top of them you can't move them and it's easy for you to keep everything centered in the middle so what I want to do is I want to go I have my own AI art which I use for my gold but I also use um, another place to get my images I'll have a link to that below so this is one of the ones that I use from Creative Fabrica uh, I use this one a lot because I just like the gold on it and what I'll do is I will put it center. I sometimes tend to go a little bit out from that dotted line. Okay, and then I'll just make sure it's center, center, so you can just go position, center, middle. And that is now directly in the middle of that page. All right, and then all I do is I'll go and use R, the letter R on my keyboard, for rectangle. Or you can go to shapes if you want to go to shapes, but I just put R for rectangle, and I'll make that white. Or if you want to make it another color, like if you want to make it a nice soft pink, whatever on brand, you can make it whatever color you like, but I like to make it white. So then I would make that now come up to that dotted line. 
right? So you can see the dotted line around the edge. It makes it super easy for me to know that this is going to be center, center, and give me a lovely, even gold border. And then once I've created that border, and if that border is too thick for you, then you just go on one side and make it thinner like that, and then go position center again, and then it moves it, and see it's not center at the top. So you do the same at the top, and then go center again, or middle, and now you have a nice thinner even line. And once you've done it once, because you're wanting it to be consistent, you just group that and copy and paste it all the way through your document, and then you'll have a beautiful border that matches on every page. Okay, so how simple was that? That's number uh, one. And then I use my AI art. If you want to check out my AI art clip art bundles, which you can use in printables, um, and you can also use in editable PDFs, just be conscious of the rules when using pro content and free content for editable PDFs. That's a quick tip. They're very strict guidelines using Canva or Creative Fabrica. But with my AI art, you can use them freely. So if you want to check that out, go to panbrosom.com forward slash AI art, or I'll have the link below in the description. But I want to show you this really, really cool tip that most people don't know. So say your brand is purple or it is teal green, but the clip art is pink. So what I like to do, I'm going to go and get another one of my clip art, which I've uploaded. So I'll go to uploads. I'll come down and I'll say I want to put this lovely telephone with a perfume bottle. And I want to put it on the bottom of my page just to have some sort of aesthetic on the page like that. I'll make it bigger just so you can see it. There you go. And then I don't want it to be that color. I want it to be a lovely teal color. So all you do is go edit photo, go adjust, come down the bottom here, click on the pink, and then change it to whatever color. If you want it to be purple, it can be purple. If you want it to be that nice teal color like that, there you go. And here's another cool tip. But if you want to carry that same color through, you can use the copy style and come across here and see bingo. It has gone and made it the exact same color. So you can use the clip art, put it in throughout your document, and then decide what color you want to be on brand. And this is where you can make lots of printables, but in different brand colors. How cool is that? So maybe somebody wants it in pink, and somebody wants it in purple, and someone wants it in red. You can use the same template, upload it many times, and then have it in different colors as well, all right? Or you can use the same layout but change the pictures and have them in different colors. This is an easy way for you to make lots of money from using the same template pages. All right, so that's template number one. Now the next one is template number two. We're not going to do the border because we already have it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a blank page and this one's going to be a bucket list. Now you know how to add text. To add text you just use the T icon and you position it where you want it to be on the page make it whatever text size you want it to be. Um, you can make it bigger or drag it from the corner and use whatever design font that you're going to choose and make it your brand color. So we'll just stick with this teal color and, and use whatever font I'm going to use. Aileron, okay, so that is my title like I have there. So that's self-explanatory, that's easy. You already know how to make the background like that and then I just copy and paste it and it's going to go exactly in the right place. Beautiful. And then I obviously have to send it to the back. And there's my text. And then I'll position my text so it's somewhere in the middle. That looks like a good spot there. And then now I want to do is make the lines. This is super easy. So you do the letter L for line and it's going to give you a line like that. And you position the first one and then you hold the shift key to keep it straight and then you put it where you want to go, back up to the center. There we go, it's on the pink. And then I will make, I actually want this to be a little bit smaller because I have to make room for the tick box. If it wasn't going to be a tick box and it was only going to be lines only, then you would make it centered right to the edge with a bit of a margin. But this is going to have the box that goes with it. So I'm going to make that a one. So I only want that to be size one. And I like to have colored lines, so I click enter, and then I like my line color 
to be my brand colours. So these are my brand colours that all match just like that. Perfect. And then I want to have a little tick box, so I'll go rectangle again, and I'll go from the corner. And if you hold the shift key, it will stay in a square. So I will make it about that size. I'll make it white. And I want to have a border. And I want the border to be one. And I'm going to make this color the teal. OK, and that's how easy it is. And then I put that up next, like that. And I move this across a little bit. OK, perfect. Now, once you've got one, and make sure that they're grouped together like that. Then you can go position, center. Now you know that that's in the middle. Then the margins will be even either side. That's how easy it is. And then all you do is go copy, paste, and bring it down. Right. Don't worry about making them perfect. We'll do that later. Grab the other one, control, and then go copy, paste, which is on the PC, control C, control V and make it down, the one like that, copy, paste, and then you can make it come down to there, like that, and then you can do it as many lines as you want, I'll do one more, one, two, three, copy, paste, and like that, and then all you have to do is get them all, click on them all like this, super easy, and then use the position, tidy up, okay, and they're in the centre because it's greyed out, and that's how easy it is to create that page, and it's done. Super, super easy. You've got your heading, you've got your to-do list, and if you want to put an icon on there, then obviously you just go and get another icon. That's a nice one there. That's part of my clip art, and then you just put that in the middle, like that. Or just the same way I did it last time, and just go to the color that you want it to be. Beautiful. Uh, like that. And there you have a nice image to put on the bottom of your design. That's two. So that's how easy it was. Can you see how quickly we're making these designs? And the third one is just as easy. So you can take the lines that you've already created. Don't have to start from scratch. This already has the border. This already has the lines. So I'm just going to duplicate it. I'm all about doing things fast, right? So you, this one has... Um, the notes in the middle. So we'll bring this into the middle like this, and we might make it capitals. Decide what you're going to do, but there's your, and then you, that would be notes pages. So you just put notes there and make sure, if you want to make it centered, you can just do it like this, or you can just go into the middle like that. But if you go to the dotted line, it'll always be in the center. So that's the center. Now this one's just lined, so I don't need, I'll ungroup these. And I can get rid of these ones because I'm only going to do the first one. And once you've done the first one, you just duplicate it down. Or I'm going to show you another trick. So actually, I'm going to ungroup these. And then I'm going to get rid of all these squares because we don't need squares. This is just a notes page. And you can do it this way. Don't want the white background. OK, so we've got rid of the squares. We don't need those anymore. And then what you can do is, if you just want to make it bigger, you can stretch it. So I've got all the lines here already in the right place. And then I'm going to group it. And once I group it, I can just stretch it like this. And then just go position, center, and it will center it for me. So I've gone from having it like this to now having a notes page. And then I, if I wanted to have the three at the bottom, then all I'll do is I will ungroup this and I will get rid of one, two. Actually, I'll just make them smaller because I just want a smaller size, like that, two, three. So the last three down the bottom. Then I'll group these and I made them teal, so I just changed the color like that, move them over this side, make them a little bit longer. And then what have I got here? I've got a love heart. And so I'll just go up to elements, choose heart, whether you use free um, or you use, this one's pro is totally up to you. I'm gonna just do this one because it looks nice and I've used this one a lot. But if you've got free, just use free. Just be conscious of what you're gonna do with it. If you're gonna do editable PDFs, do not use any pro and even some free. 
So just read Canva's terms if you're going to make it editable. If you're not going to make it editable, I always use, if I'm using Canva, um, I tend to use a lot of free, otherwise I just use my own AI art because with my AI art I can do whatever I want. Okay, so then you just make that like that and put it in the right place to where you want it to be and then just go copy paste and bring it down. Okay, copy paste and if you always want to make sure that they're aligned, just click the three of them and go position tidy up and it will tidy it up for you. And there you go, you have the third one. How easy was that? And if you want to put the title above, then obviously you would get rid of that bottom line there. Get notes, copy, paste, bring it down, and then you can put a title above that as well. Whether you want it right aligned or in the middle is totally up to you, and you don't have to have an image down the bottom and then just group them like that and bring it down a bit and I'll do that and then group it and then move it down and once it's grouped you just always just make sure that it's in the center I just always go position center and it will fix it for me all right and there you have a note with uh, today's priorities Okay, that's how simple it is to do. So if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be doing the next couple of weeks a few more of the pages uh, that I have in the template. If you want to grab the template for printables to use for commercial use, go to pambrosman.com forward slash templates. And if you want to grab the AI art bundles that you can use in your printables um, and designs for commercial use, you can't use them in templates, but you definitely can use them commercially in your printables, then go to pambrosman.com forward slash AI art. Enjoy and I'll see you next week.